Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Zane. I'm back with another video. Uh, looks like PlayStation done it again. They sure did. This was very, very unfortunate for the gaming community. You guys don't know I got Playmaker with me. You already know who it is, aka okay, Tony Stannis. What up? Like, honestly, that whole PlayStation 5 review was just a slap in the face. It was completely awful. They had all this time to prep. They had all this time to execute. I wanted them to show me something, maybe even blow me away. And they did the opposite. They did nothing at all. Like, especially in a time like this, when everybody is quarantined, stuck at home at this point. <laughs> and we got nothing. They told us what an SSD drive is. If you guys gamers out there or guys who are PC enthusiasts, I'm sure you guys know what an SSD drive is. Matter of fact, if you even have a PC for that matter. If you don't know what an SSD is by now, then clearly that's something wrong with you personally. That's like telling people, hey, you know, a mobile phone, you can actually like use a phone outside your house. That's like telling people, hey, you realize that you can call people on your cell phone, right? Yeah, it's amazing, right? <laughs> you know amazing saying? how technology is. Like, you took the entire conference to talk about SSD drive, which is completely stupid. We know what SSD drive is. And if I did not know what SSD drive is, I can actually Google what's an SSD. You, it could have saved me so much time. So Mark Cerny sat there, talked about SSDs all day long and 3D audio. Like Xbox X did not have 3D audio already. They have an ear fetish, honestly. I mean, like they spent at least, at least 30 minutes talking about like surround sound and a whole <laughs> bunch of, no, no, like I am serious. It, it was bro. a hot mess. Like, it, yeah. It's completely a hot mess. Why are y'all spending so much time talking about audio and SSD? And you know what's crazy? Mark Cerny literally sat there and said he played this game, this PlayStation 5 game title that we don't know of. Get excited. And Even it has we ray tracing. About it, get excited. And he didn't show what the heck he was talking about. Yeah, they about. didn't show any tech demos. They didn't show any, any uh, demonstrations of oh anything. My what a waste. They didn't even show any like physical uh um like physical uh parts. Right. Or, we didn't see the new PS the DualShock 5. We didn't we didn't even see the controller. We didn't even see the CPU, bro. Bro, we didn't see the controller. We All we saw was diagrams. We saw diagrams, spreadsheets, and a whole bunch of other technological you know what's crazy? BS. I you know what's crazy. I, even if they even showed the PSVR, I'll be like, oh okay. Yeah, like they, uh, they didn't, they, <laughs> at this they, point they, didn't they show could show that. PSVR and I'd be like, alright, cool something they didn't show anything literally all they said was hey listen we got a ps5 and we're just gonna tell you all the things that you know but we're just gonna describe it in detail on how we made it versus actually why you should care about this like get me excited make <laughs> me be like yeah this is this is what i want to see because I, I i didn't want to see them get get pushed like this because xbox has been really nobody gully. did nobody did in fact everybody was hyping them up it was like oh yeah man he was like oh man he's like yes man like the whole xbox review was pretty lit but well i don't know man sony sony gonna take it this year me, me I, see here's the thing I didn't expect them to top uh, Xbox when it came to the reveals or specs or anything like that. But what I didn't expect is them to pull a complete 180 and just backhand slap people three times through the whole entire event. Yeah. Because yet again, we, we waited like this was like six, like what? Six months or yeah, 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 yeah pretty yeah, much about about six months in in development of the, of Sony actually showing something for the PS5, but we didn't we didn't see anything. We didn't even see concept art, anything at all. Right. All they did was brag about, hey guys, SSDs. You know, it's gonna be like a thousand or a hundred times more faster than than the PS4, even though they didn't even show a tech demo demonstrating it. But yeah, it, it, it just a bunch of whole he said, she said jargon versus actual proof, actual evidence, actual techno technological knowledge when it comes towards these supposed, uh, you know, features, which uh, another thing, features, where the hell are the features? We don't know that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I love how people just kind of, and I, no, I know people going to try and damage control the situation and say, hey guys, it's GDC, uh, you know, it's not, it's not a big thing. The guys are supposed to talk about tech. No, I don't care about it being a GDC announcement. The point is Sony is so far behind. 
literally from presentation they're so far behind we knew what the xbox series x looked like since last year december at the at the video it game is Wars. 2020 we're in march we, we knew hit, exactly bro. what it's the ridiculous. xbox series x looked like from last year in december so not just only that they showed tech demos just the other day they showed you a bunch of videos showing you how quick time how games load faster they, they showed, showed you, another you ray demo, tracing ray tracing they showed you another demo about how you can resume quick resume from different games they had like what five games yes up to five games that just instantly boom as, as soon as you load it. you can switch back and forth from each game from where you left off at exactly. come on they showed us the egg, the new Xbox controller that has a share button feature in there. And they also revealed that it actually has a lower input delay, Come which on is now. huge. That Come is huge. On now. You got to be kidding me. And the specs, it's more powerful. The specs are just more powerful. Mm -hmm. So again, you waited all this time to show us a console that is weaker than your competition. Your competitor is have a way more specs than you, and you took all the time. See. It would have been made sense if Sony was taking so much time and it just blew you out the water with all kinds of powerful specs. You guys are weaker than the Xbox. See, now, again, we get it. Xbox will be the better console, but Sony has better exclusives. We know this. Speaking of which, where are the games, man? Where are the games? You, you know what's funny? is like I find it so hilarious when like YouTubers or whatever media, social media, be like, oh, you know what talks about the Xbox reveals and all the new loose. like, hey, man, yeah, that's great, but where are the games? I'm like, okay, uh, wh where's PS5 games? Matter of fact, where's the console? Right. I, we, we ain't going to see it no time soon. Yeah. yeah, yeah so and like, now I see why they pulled out of E3. It all makes sense now. It makes perfect sense. They have nothing to show you guys. So this makes perfect sense why they pulled out. Which is exactly why they pulled out uh, um, last E3 before Exper this. Yeah, E3 yeah. and remember PlayStation Experience. Ridiculous. They canceled PlayStation Experience. Now we see why. They had nothing to show y'all. So there was no experience. But again, Xbox is going to be the better console. But Sony has better exclusives that we all know of. But here's the catch there. Exactly two weeks after you finish playing these games, these single player games, Guess what you're going to do? You're going to end up trying to play a multiplayer game. Now, if you can tell me right now, anybody, leave it in the comments right now. What are the top three games people are playing right now? Well, well, well actually, I'll have you know that I'm still playing Spider-Man. No, you're you not. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> no, okay, you're not. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not, I'm not playing Spider-Man, but I am playing God of War. No, you're <laughs> not. That's a lot wait, too. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't Try again. You, you, Try again. You didn't let me finish, okay? Okay, listen. I'm playing. I'm playing Days Gone, okay? Is it Come on, bro. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, you motherfucker! Oh, Horizon Dawn's gonna be on PC, but that's a whole nother story. You guys are not oh, playing yeah. these single well player as games. Stranded. Ooh. The top games right now that everybody and their grandmother are playing right now are what? Multiplayer games. They're are playing Call, Call of Duty, Duty, Fortnite, and Apex. Exactly. Those are three top games. And those are what? A multiplayer. Those are Multiplex. multiplayer games. So we're not even talking about single player or campaign exactly. or first party. Those are not first party, ladies and gentlemen. They ain't first party. Those are third party titles. So what is that? It goes to show. And it, and what's that? What all of them have in common right now? That's the funny part. I'm glad you said that. You said Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty. You got Call of Duty Warzone. You got Apex Legends. And you got Fortnite. What do three of those games got in common? Free free to play bro so it's it's out the gate right now it's it's looking but hey bad. listen though ps4 got some good games coming out that should have been delayed for the ps5 launch that's I another mean, think thing about it. think that's about another it. thing can you imagine if the ps5 launched with uh uh the last of us 2 ghost of tsushima and death stranded like that's three, that's three games already that would have been hard three games already and, th and then and then that would have been like ben, all right listen man sony got games they got games but now Wait a that we ain't they, probably gonna have yeah. no launch titles at this point either listen we know halo's gonna launch with the xbox series x we know that already listen sony has never been known for having good launch titles i mean let's just keep oh, it on my here. goodness but this is, this is brutal i feel like this is gonna be a very a very unique or reminiscent at the same time of uh the ps3 which was you know notoriously the worst playstation ever uh <laughs> you know what i'm saying 
It, it had so many problems, and the free online didn't help because, again, it was free. This is so a mess. Y- you know, this is a complete mess. On it, it looks like a it looked like a joke. If this was an April Fool's joke, I would be like, cool, that was funny. But we're in March though. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, a little too early, but I really a little thought bit it was a too joke. early. Let's, oh, a little boy. bit, a little bit. But um, what was you thinking, Sony? They weren't thinking. Well, you well you see, they were thinking that since they got since they got the sauce now. Yeah, they, they, you know they didn't have they to try. They thought fanboys were going to follow pursuit. Well, guess what? A lot of your fan, you look on Twitter a lot of the right fan now. Fanboys switched up. You look on Twitter right now. A lot of people are very disgusted. They are pissed right now. They're like, disgusted. "What are you doing, Sony? Like, Ugh. yo, this is school all over again. This was a PowerPoint. Call it what you want. This is a PowerPoint." Remember when like there's like a substitute uh, teacher, you know, because like the main teacher or the home teacher is out doing something or whatever, and like they bring in a substitute. That's basically what this was. It's like. This pr- this whole entire presentation was the equivalent of having a substitute teacher just put on a movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, they got the little fake audience and they got the little audience they put out on, there. They put on a documentary oh about uh, you know about uh, uh, the PS5 infrastructure oh rather than boy. actually explaining why you should give a damn. <laughs> you know, like it's ridiculous, man. Oh man, well. There you have it, the PS5 event reveal or the PS5 no reveal because they the didn't PS5 reveal anything. The PS5 logo reveal part two. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how many times am I going to keep doing this, bro? Either show it or don't talk at all at this point. Seriously. Hey, man, it's your boy Tizane. I'm out of here, man. Peace.